Good Monday evening. A new CDC report released this month estimates there were more than 100,000 drug overdose deaths across the nation over the past year. That's an increase of nearly 30% from the previous year. And this problem also taking place here in Kern County with local law enforcement agencies saying they are already seeing more overdoses this year than before. 23 ABC's Brenna Willis joining us now in the Live Center with more about why officials say fentanyl may be the main contributing factor. Brianna. Yeah, Keely, take a look at this map behind me. This is from the CDC and it shows the predicted 12 month change in overdose deaths over one year. Now, some of the highest states, as you can see right here, that saw a change West Virginia with 62.2% increase. Another state that saw a large increase was Kentucky with 54.5% increase. But of course, that problem is also taking place right here in California. And in California, what we're seeing is that in 2020, there were nearly 7,000 drug overdose deaths. And and by 2021, here in April, 10,000 overdose deaths. That was a 47.8% change. That problem is also taking place right here in Kern County. And as the CDC reported, the highest opioid they're seeing in these deaths is fentanyl. So there has been more seizures of fentanyl in 2021 versus previous years. Whether it's a pill, powder, or comes in the form of candy or eye drops, fentanyl is a powerful drug that can kill you in any form. The issue with fentanyl, of course, is that rarely do we see fentanyl in its true form. Sergeant Pear with the Bakersfield Police Department says oftentimes people don't even know they're taking fentanyl. It's either in uh, non-pharmaceutical pills, uh, so fake Vicodin, fake Oxycontin. And so people are taking one thing, and, and in reality, they're getting something that, uh, of course, can potentially kill them. The Kern County Sheriff's Office is also seeing an increase in fentanyl-related overdoses this year alone. Well, our latest tally is 153 confirmed fentanyl-related overdoses this year in Kern County, which has far surpassed the total for all of 2020 already. And across the nation, the CDC reported a grim milestone that for the first time, drug overdose deaths have topped 100,000. Opioids such as fentanyl accounting for more than 75% of those deaths. Pear also adds that these drugs are not created in sterile lab environments, which is why the dosages can change. The danger is somebody buys something expecting to take one thing and ultimately gets a fatal dosage of a, a synthetic powerful opioid. He says their goal at BPD is to help people understand that it doesn't matter how much you take, it can be deadly. Uh, and if we can change just a couple of people uh, and have them consider that before they take it, that that's ultimately uh, a success because we're saving lives. And if you or someone you know is suffering from substance abuse, there are resources available to you here locally. You can call Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services. Their substance abuse hotline number is 1-866-266-4898. And nationally, you can call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Their hotline number is 1-800-662-HELP. And coming up at 6, we'll actually have more about how a Kern County Sheriff's deputy had a reaction to drugs after clearing a scene. In studio, Brianna Willis, 23BC News, connecting you.